Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you again about Vendor Management Workspace. In my demo instance, there's been some updates, and I think it's just demo data getting loaded in the system, but I wanted to show you what's going on um, in the Vendor Management Workspace. In the previous video that I did, I just talked about the vendor risk side of things and showed the ability to have third-party vendors or fourth fourth party vendors or something like that. But in this video, I wanna focus on um, two things right here at the top. Notice I have this new tab here for performance and for risk. So everything that you're seeing behind me is about the vendor performance. So we got KPIs for the vendors, new contracts that are coming in, contracts that are ending, improvement initiatives that someone might've been created. We've got our scores being trended for our different vendors over time. We can see just above my head there, the vendor satisfaction by vendor. So seeing that, what percentages we are there and some top vendor success indicators, average stability, satisfaction, customer satisfaction. And they open up this average stability so you can see this breakdown here. This is breaking up for SaaS providers. We see a 54.5%, the top performing the SaaS provider. We got my top vendors. I'm logged in as a demo uh, persona who's got associated with some of these vendors, but we can also see the top vendors, seeing what their computed values are, what their scores are, are they applications, are they services, stuff like that. You could see it was just behind my head there. Lots of great stuff there. We can even come in here and create a CIM initiative from this particular performance metric and start uh, or an improvement, met improvement initiative to start um, tracking something specific to that vendor. So we could associate a business service or a business process from the CMDB or CSDM, set a priority, who's gonna coordinate this, short and long descriptions, what are the goals of this, how are we tracking towards that goal, the details, the schedule, the notes, the closure notes, just lots of good stuff there on the performance side of things. Lastly, down here, I've got a list of my vendors that I'm responsible for and the, the top items, top ordered items by vendors, so people who are ordering things. So again, think bigger picture here. You've got incidents, you've got changes, you've got requests that all may be originating from a particular vendor and you can use that information about how the servicers are going to provide a performance score for your vendor. So you see here the availability of their apps or their services to customer satisfaction, SLA achievements. So what are they committed to with their SLAs and how are they trending towards that? So you see here in this demo example, I've got some 98% availability 24 by seven or P1 resolution one hour 24 by seven. And they're saying it will be at 90%. Well, if we load all of their service information inside of ServiceNow, we can track that in the CNDB and in this vendor management application. So that is the part you didn't see on my last video, the whole performance side of this thing. There's still the risk side of this. I covered this pretty much in detail around the vendors and engagements and the risk ratings and top risk areas. Check out or look for another video I'm gonna do on the risk portal for your vendors so you can have your vendors come in and actually respond to things and make sure you're able to have some data um, to start assigning those risk values so you can populate all this risk information within the portal. There you can see on that side, the fourth party's overview. That's one of the highlights was for San Diego in my previous videos. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.